What's up guys, Justin here from Wisconsin Bassin. Uh, just got back from Gander Mountain today. Um, gonna show you some new baits and new stuff that I got. Alright, so for starters, I bought myself a new reel kind of for cranking and buzz baits and stuff. It's kind of fast for cranking, it's a 6.2, it's an Abu Garcia Black Max. Really like this reel. Um, it's a little fast, but then again, you know, I kind of like it for uh, buzz baits and spinner baits too. I just like a little faster ratio. Um, as you can see, I got a Rapala DT3 fat crankbait tied on there. Um, I mean, this this reel matches this rod perfectly. Uh, this rod's an All Star um, Classic Graphite series. Uh, it's made for like spinner baits and stuff. It says right here. It's a six six medium. It's got a real forgiving tip. I like it a lot. Very 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 flimsy. I like. It's very sensitive too. I love it. And um, th this this rod is like a grayish kind of like a smoke kind of like this uh this color here on the reel. And it's got that red finish just like the the reel, and I didn't even realize that until I brought it home and slapped it on there. God, this thing just looks awesome. All right, now I got it spooled up with some 12-pound uh, Suffix Elite Mono, monofilament, I should say. <clears throat> yeah, and then let's see. So now for my uh, my other rod and reel I bought, this is my baby now. This thing is just sweet. I bought an Abu Garcia Veritas with a Shimano Corrado 200E7. The green beast. This thing is just phenomenal. I haven't even fished with it yet, and I can just tell that it's just a tank. Oh my god! Like for it being such a small reel, it's got so much power and it holds so much line. Like I probably had like 80 yards left of uh, Power Pro. I had some uh, 40 pound braid. I'm sorry, 30 pound braid, and I spooled it up there, you know. And I don't even come close. I'm like maybe halfway full. This thing's got the biggest spool. Um, I, I grabbed the Veritas. It's a seven foot medium heavy. Um, I grabbed the Veritas because it's like I, Kyle has one and my buddy Andrew has one, and I fished with it. I mean, they're just really good rods. They're really durable. You know, they're extremely sensitive with that exposed reel seat right there. And you know, it's like, yeah, the eyelets bend a little bit. They're a little soft, but you bend them right back, and they're good as new. I mean, so yeah. I mean, I just like this a lot. You know, it's like I fished with it. I have experience with it. I really like it a lot. I've tested it out numerous times. I've caught tons of fish on it, and I just I just think it's the rod for me. Not only that. A dark green with a white color scheme looks sick, it's boss. And then, um, and then as far as baits, I got a, uh, I got some more Spro frogs. This is just a Midnight Walker frog. I got the Spro uh, Bronze Eye. It's the Junior, the 60. So I got that one because um, I figured you know the fish at our ponds are a little smaller usually. Than, you know the, the fish we catch are usually a little smaller, and I think they just like you know I think they'll hit a frog. It's just because I've had a couple blow ups on uh. The regular spros, just the regular bronze eyes, and um, I've had a couple blow-ups, but no fish. But I think I, I got these because I'm pretty curious to throw these out there. Just a little smaller frog, and I think I think I'll get a lot more, you know, blow-ups and maybe some more fish on it. So yeah, <sighs> not for the baits. So yeah, that was just one spro frog. I got another one too. It's um, uh, what color is that? Green tree. It's in the green tree color. The uh, the junior. Let me. Yeah, I'll show you that here in a second. But um, yeah, and then I got some uh. Some Stanley rivets, I believe these are the 3.5. I got it in just plain white, and I think this is called a bullfrog color. It's got a real, like almost like a black, real dark green, almost like a black top to it with a uh, kind of like a lime green with uh, red flakes on the belly. I like it a lot. And this one's just a uh, plain white. And they didn't have any um, swim bait hooks, like you know, with the uh, the um, the screw lock on the top of the eyelet. Um, they had them, but they were weighted, and I don't like weighted. I like throwing these Stanley Urbits weightless. So instead of grabbing that, I just grabbed some uh, Gamagatsu uh, four out super lines. Both work just as good. Let's see here. I just grabbed some of these uh, four out super lines. These gummies. If I can get it to focus, there we go. That should be better. Uh, I picked out, picked up uh, two packs of these uh, eighth ounce bullet weights. I'm a big fan of the eighth ounce. You know, I think I think anything more than eighth ounce is just like too heavy. I mean, I I don't know why. I just get a really good feel on the bait for it. I get, you know, I it's real sensitive still yet. You know, it's not so heavy to where I can't feel any bites. And I think eighth ounce is plenty heavy enough, and it's small enough where it's like. I, I mainly use like you know lead bullet weights, so um, but these are just called bullet weights, the brand river. 
I'm pretty sure these are lead. I know they sell steel ones. Um, I use lead a lot because I don't really have a lot of money for tungsten. So, and tungsten's a lot more dense than lead, as you may know. So an eighth ounce bullet weight in tungsten, this, is, this would be an eighth ounce in lead. The tungsten one probably looks like the sixteenth ounce. So, I mean, I just like it for, like, the size because, you know, the fish probably doesn't see it as good. Um, and the bait looks a little more natural, you know, than a big cone weight sitting on top of its head or whatever. Um, yeah, so what else did I get today? Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you my other spro frog I bought today. Like I said, it's the uh, the 65, the bronze, uh, I'm sorry, the bronze eye, the 60, the junior. Just, you know, the green tree. And I told you guys the deal on the frog skirts, man. I'm telling you, just trim the legs. One leg just a little bit shorter. Works great. Um, all these baits that I got here today, uh, you can get them on Tackle Warehouse. I just went to Gander Mountain today because I didn't have them. I don't have a credit card. And I didn't feel like, you know, going through like a three-day process of putting the money in my mom's bank account, blah, 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 so she can get it, you know, yada, yada. So, um, yeah, you can get all these baits. Uh, all these baits, the reels, and you can get you can get the Veritas rod at um, uh, tacklewarehouse.com. If you go to tacklewarehouse.com through the Bass College, they'll give you free baits on orders over a hundred dollars, and they give you free shipping on everything, all the time, which is awesome. And go check out the Bass College, guys. It's a really good site. Um, uh, Steve on Brand, the guy who runs it, he just recently went through Hurricane Irene. Hopefully, you're staying safe, Steve. And um, I saw your video on Hurricane Bass, and man, you guys are crazy. But uh, go check it out, guys. It's a really good place. You know, they have bass chats on Wednesdays and Sunday nights. You know, it's just like a big, like, chat room type deal. It's really cool. Uh, the site members on there are really nice, you know, and even, you know, a lot of them are generous, too. Uh, I mean, even Steve, he sent me free baits, whatever, and one of the baits that came with it was a Huddleston swim bait. I mean, that's pretty expensive. And by the way, Steve, I did throw that. As you can see, my leftover braid tied on there. Um, I couldn't, I don't know why, it just wouldn't sink. I threw it out there and I let it sit literally for like four minutes and it just wouldn't sink. Uh, I thought it would sink and you know you could just run like that. But um, but anyways, uh yeah. So go go check out the Bass College guys. Um, really awesome place. You know it's free to register. You know just make an account. Nothing costs money on there unless you know you're going to tackle warehouse or something like that. But um yeah, go check it out guys. And um this is Justin from Wisconsin Bassin signing off guys. See ya.